Market started in November quite strongly, but tailed off towards the end of the month with world markets falling a bit, uh, blamed uh, by many on the new COVID variant Omicron. Um, it could be other things as well, of course, uh, but we did have some quite sharp falls in the oil price as people thought maybe there's going to be less travel and, uh, and markets fell towards the end of the month, having been very strong in the beginning of the month. The Australian market fell slightly and the uh, investors' mutual funds uh, fell roughly in line with that slight fall in the Australian uh, market benchmark. Within the market, uh, we had uh, a weak uh, uh, performance from the banks, which are a very big part of our market, uh, as despite the booming Australian house market, uh, no one could be unaware of the sort of 20 to 30% rises in house prices in the last year. Uh, despite no new immigrants and so forth, um, but very easy money, of course, with zero interest rates, which are kind of unusual, but uh, we're kind of getting used to them. Um, and uh, the banks, of course, are competing a lot for mortgages. So that pulled the market down a bit. The resources were very strong for our own funds. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Virgin UK, uh, where we have a, um, a holding fell, as people worried a bit about the new uh, Omicron variant you know, and travel restrictions in the UK and so forth. Uh, but on the plus side, we had uh, several good stocks, uh, some takeover activity in, in a number of our names. And uh, we also had very strong performances from uh, Instech Pivot, uh, which had uh, has benefited a lot from high fertilizer and ammonia prices and a very good performance from Telstra. It's nice to see that going up um, in line with our expectations of a more rational mobile market and great infrastructure assets. Looking forward, it's very hard to forecast how things will develop. Uh, early indications are that the new COVID variant is infectious, but not particularly uh, deadly. Um, and uh, we are in a funny situation where, uh, you know, we have zero interest rates and quite high rates of inflation. So it, 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 it seems inevitable we're going to have to have higher interest rates, although central bankers seem intent on keeping money very easy. Uh, in this environment, we think our posturing of defensive quality names remains the right uh, orientation for our funds.